Uh, our third and final question comes from Caitlin, who spells it in one of the accepted variants of Caitlin. Uh, and she asks, what can we expect from the Duplass brothers' togetherness? Are they sticking to their indie roots, and what do they hope to gain or learn from television as a medium? Uh, for those who don't know, Togetherness is one of the new HBO comedies. It's going to air Sunday nights at 9.30 in between Girls and Looking. Uh, Jay and Mark Duplass, filmmaking brothers. You may also know them from their acting work. Mark on The League, and as one of, and they both play the two midwives on uh, The Mindy Project, and Jay is the brother on Transparent. But they, they got their start in indie filmmaking. You know, Cyrus, Jeff, who lives at home, a lot of things. Some things they've directed themselves, some things they've produced and starred in. All, all over the place. Togetherness feels very much of a piece with a lot of their indie film work and fits kind of ni nicely tonally. In between girls and looking, it's a show. Uh, Mark Duplass and Melanie Linsky play a married couple. They've been together a while. Things are going a little stale, even though they like each other. Amanda Peet plays Melanie Linsky's sister, and Steve Zissis plays Mark Duplass's uh, best friend, and they all wind up living together under the same roof through a variety of circumstances. Um, it's not laugh-out-loud funny, but it's really charming and really likable and fits, like I said, that Sunday night comedy aesthetic that HBO is working, at least with these January shows. And I watched eight episodes all in a pretty quick burst, and I really enjoyed it. And Steve Zissis, in particular, um, is this actor who I probably have seen in things. I recognize various IMDb credits of his, but I couldn't have picked him out of a lineup before this. And he is just wonderful as this struggling actor. It's kind of art imitating life, you know, just hoping that someone will give him a shot. And here the, the Duplass brothers did, and he created the show with them. Uh, and it's paid off. So it's a fun show. It's it's a nice part of that block, and I'm happy to see them doing this, and I'm happy to see HBO. You know, an HBO comedy can be a lot of different kinds of things right now. You can have something that's just balls out funny, like a Silicon Valley or like a Veep, or you can do something like a Looking, which is really more of a half-hour drama with some lighter moments, and then you've got Girls and, and Togetherness, which kind of go in between. So there's a lot of different things that HBO is doing with its half hours right now. And I like that. And I like that they've cultivated this indie film sensibility with several of them. So that is it for this week. Uh, I should be back in another two weeks. I'll be home from press tour by then, I think, if I'm checking the calendar right. As always, write to video at hitfix.com. Ask Alan in the subject line. See you in the next live, Jack. For the latest from HitFix, visit hitfix.com or download the new HitFix app on your Roku device.